Hi everyone, Bernard here on behalf of MovieGameNostalgia.com, I hope you're all well. Just a little movie review on a film that's out to buy on the 15th of June. It's a film called Greed. It's at $9.99 on DVD, $14.99 on Blu-ray. Please, just a little information, a little review on it. If you're new to the channel, push that old subscribe button there in the corner, push the bell notification so you know when these little vlogs and specials and information vlogs are coming out. And please make sure your notifications are set to public. So yeah, we're going to have a look at Greed, um, which is out to buy us on the 15th of June. Or obviously, if you're watching this after that, you can go and get it now from your local store or online. Uh, it's 100 mi minutes. It's a, it's a satirical film uh, based loosely on the Arcadia Group's uh, big boss, Philip Green. Obviously, if you're familiar with the, U the UK industry and fashion etc um, obviously this is uh, loosely based on Mr Philip Green very loosely uh, starring Steve Coogan, David Mitchell, Asa Butterfield, Isla Fisher and Sophie Cooks and of course Steve Coogan plays the main part in this um, and it's all to do with this uh, fictional multi-billionaire that Steve Coogan plays uh, his 60th birthday on the lovely island of Mykonos in Greece, one of the Greek islands, and it's the preparations for that and the fallout and some some flashbacks to his early days and how he sort of made the money with the sweatshops, etc., etc. So there's a there's a a little not political but a little point to be made, whether that it makes it or not. Obviously, I'll uh, I'll sort of let you know. Um, how was it? Greedy. Well, Rotten Tomatoes didn't like it very much. I only give it a 48% rating, positivity rating, which is not very good at all. 132 ratings. Overall score of 5.5, 1 out of 10. Um, and it goes on to say, Greed rarely hits quite as hard as it ought to, but solid laughs and a smartly assembled cast keep this satire entertaining. Yeah, I mean, that probably... Um, sums it up really i'm not sure whether it wanted to hit too hard to be obviously i don't i don't think uh perhaps you'd have steve coogan in the lead role uh if he did want to hit hard to be honest with you because although if you like him or love him he does he does he does play uh, does play a role steve coogan doesn't he does, whatever role he's in he, he plays it as to you know he's sort of it is steve steve coogan owns it doesn't he so the metacritic rating Again, not great. That's the meta score. That's the uh, critics. Uh, Five point two out of ten, out based on thirty two reviews, and scores anywhere between five and eight. So not a total disaster. I mean, some people did like it. Internet Movie Database, Joe Public, uh, you and me, watching it. Only five point six out of ten. So again, not great. But again, a lot of people couldn't be bothered actually leaving a review. They've left left sort of negative scores, but not sort of backed it up with reviews because most of the reviews I read through were. were was sort of on the positive side to be honest with you um i mean one of the things uh obviously that stands out was in was and sort of i agree with was enjoyable with some very good performances yeah i mean if you go through all the little remarks made by the joe public you and me i'll make a little comment if they need commenting on as i go through some of the remarks coogan excellent but film too simplistic with preachy message yeah i mean that's as i said, as I, said I don't think there's any great in-depth uh, stuff going on with this film it's just entertainment as far as I'm concerned, that's all it is. And I just look at a film as entertainment. Does it entertain me? And obviously, Steve Coogan, although I'm not always his biggest fan of uh, what he stands for, etc. And his style of, uh, as a person, his personality, I do like his, uh, his uh, film stuff and TV stuff. Uh, a savage and hilarious satire. There's certainly, uh, certainly elements of that. Uh, tries to do too much, ends up doing too little. No, I don't agree with that. It throws a lot at it, but I think it's it's quite good. It lacks depth, depth, but consistently entertaining. Yeah, I mean, something, again, I, I could have come up with myself. It does lack a little bit of depth, as I say, with depth. It's not a documentary. It's it's a, it's a film. So, yeah, it, it can lack a bit of depth, can't it, as long as it, ent it entertains. Uh, good intentions, but messy. Yeah, I know what it's saying, but I don't think it was that messy. It had an A to Z. It was, you know, it started at A and finished at Z and sort of got there eventually. Awfully unfunny. No, I wouldn't agree with that. I think if you're not a Steve Coogan fan, yeah, then then I would probably agree. If you don't don't really like Steve Coogan, then give it a miss because it is really so all centered around Steve Coogan's presentation is, and the way he plays the character. Uh, a middle class guilt trip. <laughs> I'll go on to that in a minute. God awful. Avoid at all costs. Savage satire. 
Uh, yeah, and as I said, I think that's some of the, that's just some of the comments. I mean, it is entertainment. I'm not I'm not really bothered about the politics and the rights and wrongs of multi billionaires, slave workers, and refugees. I have my own my own judgment, and I know it's out there. And I know it's happening. I don't need you know. Obviously, this this doesn't tell you anything to what you already know. And as I said, from a poor enter- pure entertainment point of view, that's all I care about. You know, I do know about the pitiful pay that some of these uh these workers are paid in in these countries for these big fashion fashion companies etc for producing stuff sports stuff as you know it, it happens all over not just obviously with fashion obviously with sports gear etc etc obviously the refugees do come into it but it's only glossed over and obviously it's a greek island so it does have a refugee problem even now doesn't it so but those things come into the film but and obviously we have the billionaire, the 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 money maker who uh, you know, obviously is is up in front of a committee, a, a parliamentary committee, uh, throughout the film. Obviously it's little flashbacks to that, and uh, yeah, I mean <laughs> they're out there, aren't they? So you know I'm not gonna dislike or hate or throw any hate on these guys. I either like them or I don't like them. You know, I like some millionaires, I don't like other millionaires. That's just how it is. Um, Obviously, Steve Coogan does a great job. I mean, it's, it's hard to dislike Steve Coogan in his film roles, to be honest with you. Um, and I did enjoy him. David Mitchell was excellent as well. I mean, again, you have to be a, perhaps a David Mitchell fan to appreciate his, his style, but it was there. And the ending, well, I mean, some people have said about the ending and commented either it was, it was poor or, you know, too little, too late. I just thought it was a, a cracking ending. I didn't expect the ending. I'm not going to say too much about it because it's quite a surprising ending. But I did, I did enjoy the the ending, um, and it was unexpected. And I say it's a film that, you know, I was it hundred minutes. I would have gladly watched hundred and twenty minutes. To be honest with you, I quite I did enjoy it. And there's a couple, you know, there's one or two things of Steve Coogan's that I just, I just, I'm sad when the end. And this is another one. Whether he's what sort of character he's playing, I don't, I don't care less. To be honest with you, I wanted to be entertained and uh, and greed entertained me, and that's all I wanted out of this film. I didn't want any philosophical or any sort of, uh, you know, judgments to be made. I just wanted to be entertained, and I can honestly say I was, and I enjoyed it. Let me know what you think, anyway, please. I'm gonna give it a rating let's give it a rate i'm gonna give it seven out of ten which is pretty good for me and sort of well above what it's getting from rotten tomatoes and internet movie database yeah i'm gonna give it seven out of ten i really like greed i thought it was excellent well worth a watch especially if you're a steve coogan fan or a, or a david mitchell fan so there you go seven out of ten it's like a ten out of ten for me that isn't it i don't don't give many seven pluses out of ten but uh, there you go anyway thanks for watching please let me know in the comments what you think if you get around to watching this and as i said uh, steve coogan fans please watch it because it does really revolve around mr coogan and mr coogan sort of plays mr coogan in whatever role he plays doesn't he so uh, yeah it's uh i do i do like him but it, you do you know what you're getting with Steve Coogan, as you know, <laughs> you do know what what sort of part you're getting, and the 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 one liners, and and even when he's being nasty, he made me laugh. So there, there you go. That's how it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please follow me on Twitter at nostalgia underscore movie or at Charles Deneen. Deneen spelled D I W N W N. I try to follow. I follow everyone back every couple of days. I just check and follow everyone back. And I'm on Facebook at Burn Deneen. I also check the links out for my. Website moviegamenostalgia.com for old and rare DVDs, movie posters from the 1990s and 2000s and board games as well. So you can spare us a couple of minutes to have a look on moviegamenostalgia.com. It'd be very much appreciated. And please leave a thumbs up. Leave a thumbs up for this vlog if you like if you liked it. Or even if you didn't like it, still leave me a thumbs up. It's always nice, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you'll join me again for something very similar, very soon. This is Bernard saying look after yourself, look after your friends, look after your family, and especially let's all look after each other. And I'll see you all again very soon. Thanks for watching.